billion pounds from dodgy pandemic spending and contracts. Yeah, but I mean, they've done that in order to make sure that the reaction from the markets wasn't too steep. I think that, right? They wanted to prepare this because they, the last thing they wanted was a, a sharp reaction. Probably, I. Yeah. Got a comment about electric cars actually saying we pay more for charging them. Um, I don't know how that how that really manifests itself to be honest because I know when I went from a diesel to an electric, instead of spending £300 a month on diesel, I drive about 25,000 miles a year, something like that, roughly getting around and about the country. Um, and I, I went down to spending about 75 quid on charging, but actually a bit less because I've got solar panels. But it very much depends where you charge, though, doesn't it, Adam? Because if you have a driveway and you can plug in on your house, you've got a great deal. You don't oh, have look, a drive. You're yeah. plugging in on the street. Commercial charges. It's a totally oh yeah, thing. you're totally screwed. I, I totally agree. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. I see the same person's commenting saying he's paying eighty-one pence per kilowatt, which is usurious. Realistically, that is that is ridiculous. And you're right. I, I have seen the the terrace streets, or if you're in flats where you don't have parking because you're in a city and all the rest of it. But then ultimately, you know, you've got to survive on zip car and things like that, haven't you? They they are ridiculous, and they're. I'm surprised that it hasn't been legislated against, to be honest with you, because some of those electric markups are insanity. Right? Yeah. Same person says when you, you know, when you've got 65, you'll have problems you don't think about. I mean, I think I think I probably will will think about them, but working till you're 70 is ridiculous. But what I would say is, at the end of the day, the population is starting work many years later than it used to. You know, used to retire at 65. But people started work at 16 and quite a few started before that now you've got more than half the population that go to university so they're not starting in the world of work till they're 21 22 so you've gained about seven years there 